Let's take it out of D.C. as President Trump heads to Pittsburgh to offer support to the victims of the synagogue shooting. But many saying they don't want him there, especially during those burials. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ross Palumbo is live with the controversy in D.C. Ross. Well, Lauren, Calvin, as Alex mentioned a few minutes ago, the president is already in Pittsburgh. He landed there about an hour ago, and we didn't see a single elected official there to greet him. Live pictures right now where he is near the Tree of Life Synagogue. He met with this rabbi there a little earlier. He went inside, lit a candle, and then he just came back outside with the First Lady Melania Trump to lay a stone from here at the White House on the grave markers of the deceased there. He's also going to participate in a prayer with a rabbi there at any moment. All of this coming as protesters are standing just a few feet away as controversy has surrounded this entire trip. The president, first lady, Jared Kushner, and Ivanka Trump all leaving without a word, heading to Pittsburgh. We did try to get the message out to the White House that our priority tomorrow is the first funeral. All of this happening after many urged the president not to come. Any president that would come in, any president would be a distraction. Focus has to be on the victims and has to be on comforting the family and also the city. The city needs time to grieve, so please... If you're listening, wait, wait till next week. The White House had also invited several members of Congress, including majority and minority leaders Mitch McConnell, Chuck Schumer, Paul Ryan, Nancy Pelosi, and both Pennsylvania senators all declined. I would have done it even sooner, but I didn't want to disrupt any more than they already had disruption. No schedule has been released, but the president outlining his visit last night. I'm just going to pay my respects. I'm also going to the hospital to see the officers and uh, some of the people that were so badly hurt. Meanwhile, as two migrant caravans continue their journey to the U.S., the president now proposing to end birthright citizenship through executive order. Now, how ridiculous. We're the only country in the world where a person comes in, has a baby, and the baby is essentially a citizen of the United States for 85 years with all of those benefits. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And it has to end. Um, have you talked about that with counsel? Yeah. I have. So we're in the process. It's in the process. It'll happen this with year. an executive order. Birthright citizenship is guaranteed by the Constitution, and it's not clear whether the president has the authority to do this. All of this as the Defense Department now confirms the president has ordered 5,000 troops to the Mexico border to help stop the migrants. That's in addition to the 2,092 that are already employed from our National Guard, Operation Guardian Support. Back to live pictures right now from Pittsburgh. The president and first lady Melania Trump laying stones on the temporary graves of those murdered there on Saturday. Ivanka Trump and her husband Jared Kushner also there at the Tree of Life Synagogue as well. They're about to participate in a prayer with the rabbi that has greeted them. And Lauren Calvin, it is important to note that there are protesters we see dozens upon dozens of protesters just a few feet away from the president. The White House not releasing his exact schedule of what he's doing during his time there. He did touch down about an hour ago. We know he's going to stay there until about 7.30 tonight. And, of course, we'll have the complete details of the entire visit from the president throughout the night. For now, though, that's very latest live from the White House. Back to you.